Pictured here can be seen the various servos used in the Johnny 5 robot. For example, we have the SSPS 105. These are used on the shoulders and in the back. Three of these are used on the Johnny 5 robot. Next to this we can see the Tongawa SSPS 102 servo. Eight of these are used on the robot. These were discontinued in the late 1980s and now are very difficult to get hold of. Here we can see the FPS 34 which was superseded by the FPS 134 servo. Four of these are used in the Johnny 5 robot, two in each arm. These are used to operate the turning of the wrist and the opening and closing of the fingers. Here we have the FPS 33, which was discontinued and replaced with the FPS 133 servo. They were then discontinued and replaced with the S3101 servo. They are all the same size and specification. Various of these are used in the Johnny 5 head and also to operate the upper and lower eyelids and also in the nose bridge assembly. Um, we also have the FPS 130. These were used sorry, for the lower eyelid operation. We have various um, extension leads and Y leads um, needed for the servos uh, as some of them are split off from the same sneg signal. We have the servo there which I'm going to be using for the turn of the neck, that's a sail winch servo. We have various other spare servos, those are just standard servos. Um, this is the, the bar which is used um, to link the upper eyelids onto the nose bridge assembly. As you can see there's quite a lot of servos used in the construction of the Johnny 5 robot. Um, approximately um, 14 to 18 servos in the head alone. Thank you.